Fest is happening this weekend, so there's got a lot of fun things planned for you. But when you come and visit the museum, there's so much history here about our veterans and all that they've done for our country. And one veteran with a very incredible military career happens to be the president and CEO of the museum, Mr. Doug Owens. Good morning to you. Good morning, Denise. So tell us about the uh, Texas Aviation um, Heritage Gallery here and your personal connection because you're a retired lieutenant general. Uh, I am, and very privileged to serve the nation for, for, for a long time. We're in the Heritage Gallery, which tells the story of the evolution of aviation in Texas. And there's a lot in here that you can spend a lot of time reading about. And in the middle of it is the aviation Hall, Texas Aviation Hall of Fame. But it's right here in front of us is a picture of uh, Randolph Air Force Base taken around 1930-31 time frame. This was one of the first duty stations I ever was at for training back uh, some almost 40 years ago. Ago. My oldest son, who's now a, a B-52 squadron commander in his own right, was born when we were here. And my last assignment as a, a three-star general was as the vice commander of the training command. And my last home on active duty was that house right there. So we've got a personal connection to all of this history, and I'm glad to share it. As we walk through here, you can get a sense of how important Texas was to the defense of the nation, especially on this Veterans Day. As you look at all of the Army and Navy bases that were in place here during World War II, Texas played a huge role in all of this as, uh, uh, as, uh, as we went on to fight and win World War II. Now, while m many of those bases are, are gone today, many of them, some are still in, in fact, including this one, which goes all the way back to World War I. So this base is, uh, uh, is 103 years old, and so we're very privileged to, to be part of this history as well. Wow. I want to go back here to the Hall of Fame here, the Texas Aviation Hall of Fame. Tell us about this. So we were designated the Hall of Fame in 1995 by then Governor George Bush, and in here we've got 80... Uh, Texas that are enshrined that represents the best of Texas, both in terms of trailblazers, explorers, wartime aviators, leaders, and entrepreneurs. So there's a, this is a, a, a wonderful place to come and read about the human dimension of that evolution of flight in Texas. As you're looking right now, you're looking at two presidents, President George H.W. Bush on the left as a young Lieutenant J.G. on the deck of the San Jacinto and his son George W. Bush. And two, two around is Dwight Eisenhower, three presidents in here. We're just very fortunate to be here and happy to have you visit with us today. Incredible. Well, thank you for your service, and we appreciate your time this morning. Again, the Hangar Bash happening this weekend, so you want to check that out. Now, reporting live in the Lone Star Flight Museum, Denise Middleton, Fox 26 News.